Hey Legionnaires, welcome back. We're here with a new campaign today and this is the 12-12 uh, campaign that we're going to be starting here and as you can see we're playing as the Republic of Venice. Uh, we are going to be playing as this major trading nation uh, that has uh, had a lot of influence at this point in history on the world around it. I mean, most recently in 1204 they helped finance the uh, Fourth Crusade which went on to establish the Latin Empire, took Constantinople, and brought an end to the Byzantine Empire for now. But the Empire of Nicaea is looking to bring back the glory days of the Byzantines. And now maybe we will have to go back eastwards and finish what we started and defeat the Byzantines once and for all. I also have a few other objectives I kind of like to do in this campaign. I feel like uniting Italy is always a, an easy one to do. Uh, we start with a very small part of it and we can kind of... Uh, slowly occupy and take out the rest of his fleet. I don't know if I'll take out the Pope. I might get rid of him as well. I know there's a lot of major diplomatic uh, issues if you do get rid of him. I also might go on crusade for Jerusalem. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Maybe uh, if we're, we've got a bit of chill time and we've got nothing else going on, we will uh, go and try and take Jerusalem. But yes, we'll try and make this trading empire, the Republic of Venice, great once again our finances aren't the greatest um but we have strong diplomacy it's one of our buffs um in this uh, in this campaign uh, that we are strong in diplomacy so i guess that just means a lot of people like us i i presume um probably because we are merchants so you know everyone loves a merchant but yeah uh, if you are enjoying uh like seeing campaigns and want to see more of them do remember to leave a like subscribe if you're new around here and a comment show support i'm gonna make this episode an hour long so uh I hope you guys enjoy. We'll hopefully get a lot done in this first hour. But if you want to see another hour episode, do leave a like. If we get to 50 likes um, before I do the next episode, then uh, yeah, which will be like a couple of days. Then uh, yeah, we'll, I'll do another hour episode and I'll keep that up until we don't hit 50 likes on an episode. And then we'll just go back to the uh, regular 30 minute episode. But yes, let's get straight on into this campaign. I feel like the first thing we need to do is kind of go onto the diplomacy map and kind of just... Get a sense of who's going to like us and who doesn't. And uh, we start off with a defensive alliance with the Latin Empire, which is not too shabby. So uh, I feel like, uh, and we have trade with them, As and we have military access. Uh, they don't want a military alliance, which is fine. Uh, we're not trading with Thessalonica. Of our people, uh, oh, no, we are. We are trading with Thessalonica, sorry. Um, In our good name, uh, do we want to get, like, non-aggression packs? Yeah, probably. We probably want to get on good terms with all of these guys. So I imagine I'll have to come over here and help fight uh, for the Latins. I don't know. Uh, Achaia, can we trade you with you? We are already trading. Great. Let's get a non-aggression pack going. Uh, military access, maybe? No. I don't really want to get money at all. Uh, the Empire of Epirus, um, we're actually on okay terms, but they probably will go to war with the Latins. To you and yours. We're also trading. Um, okay, I'm not paying money for a non-aggression pact. Sicily. Part, welcome. Don't want trade. My part, welcome also. I don't really want to make a non-aggression pact if I don't get anything out of it. Verona, we are trading. Excellent. Uh, I'm not that bothered about non-aggression pact because I might go to war with you eventually. And Bologna. In the name of the state... Welcome. Also, don't want trade. Okay. We are, as always, a welcoming. Let's get trade with Pisa going. I feel like that's always a good one. Yeah, there we go. We got another bit of strength there, and then the Pope. Welcome, worthy friend. You will happily take you bring a non-aggression pack. Let's demand some ours. cash off him. Okay, apparently not that much because the Pope is broke. There we go. Six hundred quid. That's always a nice start. Let's see if we can get some trade. We're already trading with everyone out here. Oh my gosh. You. In our good name, be yeah. Wow, we are trading with literally everyone out here. Please accept as a most humble audience for get your terms. Lot. We could get a uh, marriage going as well now, with uh, Silesia. Let's do it. Why not? Oh, that's a bit high, apparently, because they're broke as well. Okay, give me Rita high payments three hundred. There we go. And then Trebizond, we actually you on also are trading with. Wow, we're trading with all word. these people, even though they're probably going to hate us. Bulgaria. Do not waste time on pleasant. Yeah, I, I, well, they're at war with the Latins, so I imagine I'm going to have to also go to war with the Latins. Croatia. I feel like In I might expand to Croatia well, early on uh, to sort of like build like a bit of a European base. Yeah, I don't really want a non-aggression pact with you. Uh, so I think probably Croatia is going to be my first target. I think. 
Um, they have some decent resources. They have wine, which is always nice. And we are trading with quite a few of the Italian states over here. I'm going to possibly wait to see whether any of them make the first move, just make a fatal first move. Um, I have a feeling this one's going to be a bit of a longer campaign, a bit longer paced. Um, I I'm not sure entirely, but that's I'm get that, I just get that feeling. We'll do city charters. I just feel like actually uniting Italy actually could be a bit of a pain. And I have a few other uh, like places I'd like to be. And also, I'm just kind of a, a bit everywhere. As you can see, I have an army over here in Crete. I have an army back home um, in Venice. So, yeah, we're kind of everywhere, really. Uh, I could build a castle. That's literally our entire turn's worth of money if I do that. Um, but there's literally nothing else to build in Venice. Okay, it looks like we're building a castle in Candia. Um, it's also not got great sanitation. Happiness is okay. Catholicism is going down, so I feel like we're going to have to build... Uh, something to help boost that there. Can we build any agents? No. At least not there. I don't think we can build any in Venice. Oh no, we could. We could build... Uh, build a priest here. Which would be a lot of the rest of our money. But I might do it. Progressive, public order, penalty due to presence of other religions. Yeah, let's go with that. So I feel like Armando, you're going to have to go straight over to Candia here. And basically just pacify the region. So we'll do that. Uh, have you do that? And then we have 800 left, which let's have a look at what units we can build. We've got a good selection here. Most of our more elite units, like the um, uh, Escutai. Escutai? I don't know how you, if that's how you say it, but they take two turns to build. They have heavy spear infantry, though, so it's a good unit. Um, Lanciari also costs, uh, take two turns. Um, but yeah, these, uh, these heavy spear infantry I have here are very expensive. 226. They are pricey. Uh, we have a bit of Cav. Uh, Cav obviously is king. We have a decent amount of crossbows in our starting army in spears and swords. Uh, we're okay. And then here we have Pietro, the Doge himself. Not Doge, the Doge dog, but just the Doge. Um, so yes, yeah, so we have Pietro here. I think uh, these Spadaccini have looked nothing that exciting. Poor armor piercing damage. Um, yeah, they're not that great. I'd rather get them, though, than the lights. Light swords, definitely nothing exciting. Um, I don't think I have enough crossbows. I don't have anything to build. I have no growth going on at the moment, so I can build a stables. So, uh, yeah, I guess... One or two will build some Spadaccini Community Nark. Ali. Probably butchering that name. But I guess we'll help build up this army a little bit more as we get ready for our war with uh, Croatia, which is inevitably going to be what we do first. Uh, we can assign some provisional governors. Excellent. Um, oh, yeah, I haven't even looked at our family tree. Here's the Doge Pietro, our heir, uh, Jacopo. Uh, probably got that butcher in that name. Marco is going to go and be our governor in Crete. And then... Uh, I don't even know what they're like. That's our really. Um, do you have anything good? Oh, I feel like you're all just the same, aren't you? Uh, you're a little bit better, actually. Uh, let's make Jeremiah here. You can be the guy in Veneto. I don't think it really matters too much. But there you go. And then we can put some stuff in place. So I will go with Construct Rural uh, Way Houses. Because that gives us growth. Um, and I think that's what I would like. Uh, really. I mean, tax rate, yeah. Public order, I definitely don't want that. And then Empower Local Ruler might do at some point. But not for now. So now we're going to go with growth. So we can try and get more growth. So we can build more buildings. And by building more buildings. Ready, hopefully. Um... And the same thing I'm going to do here in Venice for now as well. And then hopefully we can then, uh, like, yeah, by building more buildings, we can get better public growth, better economy. And then we can maybe change some of those edicts around. But there you go. End of the first turn. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. I imagine we'll get a lot of propositions from uh, some factions. I actually didn't uh, look at Austria to see whether they wanted any sort of trade agreement. We might already have one. Because it seems like we do with most of the world. We are the world's merchants, of course. I'm surprised we can't see further, um, actually. Um, we're up to two grand when it comes to uh, money. But yeah, I'm surprised we can't see further, to be honest. Like, the Venetians probably could see it. Uh, a lot about uh, and the, good wishes of our people. the world around them. Okay, we have trade anyway with Austria, but they don't want a non-aggression pact. That is a shame, uh, but we'll, we'll deal with it. Armando, I... Yeah, I actually was thinking, actually, now as I'm sending him down to Candia. I mean, it is going up. Candia anyway. But, uh, do I have an agent to, uh, go and spy on these guys over here? Potentially. Potentially could. Um, 
Or we could build up more of the army. I mean, we're, our money is pretty good. I'd like more cav, ideally. Um, the only cav we could get is the uh, mercenary Bero Vieri here. Uh, there's no none of these militaries here that are, are very expensive. Jeez. Yeah, I mean, well, uh, to be fair, actually, the same price as my um, my actual cab, so that would actually be no difference. Okay. Um, I don't think I want any of these pole arms. Don't think we'll need them, and I don't often like to use them in single player. I feel like you can get away without having pole arms and pikes in most scenarios in a uh, in a campaign, to be honest. That's just my opinion. Some other guys like, might be like, nah, I need these guys. Um, and foot barrow vieri. Uh, light melee infantry? Yeah, I'm not sold on those either. Um, I don't know if we early, do we early war Croatia? I definitely don't think we can afford to, uh, to wait around too long. But do we wait to see whether someone else makes the move first? I'm going to just build a bunch more of these Spadaccini, I think. I'll leave two slots open for more cav. I'd like four cav, ideally, but I don't think any of these I'm going to be able to change. Yeah, these are not great, actually. I don't know if I'd want these. That allows the recruitment, though, of our uh, very, very elite spears. I kind of do need to keep that. This one, Fairgrounds. Fairgrounds is pretty good for economy, actually. Metropolis. I usually wouldn't go Metropolis in my capital. I, oh, I'd probably go Stronghold so I can just build better stuff. Because, yeah, it then allows you to build. We get Garrison of the Cav. Maybe I would go at Metropolis. I don't know. I'm going to end the turn. End the turn. I think we're going to fly through a few early turns, to be honest, because there's not a lot going on. Everyone's just trying to feel each other out, see see what they're going to do. Looks like Croatia's quite happily keeping its army in split, which is fine, because that means we could go for Zagreb. But I don't want to wait around too long, because the AI will then start to build more armies, and I'm pretty sure the AI cheats in Total War and builds multiple armies uh, for, like, just so cheap. There you go. First war we have is a... I'm pretty sure this is a scripted one. It's Holy Roman Empire against Kingdom of Sicily. Like, the King of Sicily uh, has the, like, sort of, like, Cassus Belli to basically become the Holy Roman Empire as, like, a claim. Uh, so that's kind of... A, I, I do quite like that. Uh, so, yeah, they're going to fight over each other. We might see Imperial armies come marching through our lands to come uh, after the Sic Sicilians, or we might see the Sicilians go north. I don't know. Um... I also, yeah, we could try and go for Bologna. Like I said, I don't think we're trading with them. Yeah, we're not trading with them either, so... I welcome you on behalf of the people. Yeah, I don't think... So we could actually sweep in and try and take them out. No, I'd have to, like, use Verona as a Today's base. Greetings to you. Speak, and I don't you think we could do that. Yeah, you're also not aggression. You don't want make a vassal. <laughs> I wish. Um... But yeah, so we'll we might have to. I don't know. We'll see. I, I if I could get Bologna, that'd be great because uh, as well because that would be a, a first step, sort of like into Italy. Well, I guess we're in Italy proper as well, but like this is like down the spine of Italy here. Uh, if we can get that, that'd be great. Then we're in striking distance of Rome already. If we wanted to really go for the Pope, threaten him. Um, but yes, we will just keep on recruiting and. I don't know. I don't really want the light shock cav. I might just go with two cav. We'll see uh, how we go. I can. The AI is pretty dumb when it comes to using its own cav, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, what can we build down here, actually? I didn't even look. Yeah, we can build some cavalry here and then a whole load of other early light stuff, which I'm not a fan of. Yeah, light shock cav, medium shock cav. Well, then, medium mi crossbow cav. They're not even shock cav. Um, yeah, okay, yeah, nothing exciting. I don't think I'll be building much here. Um, I might just keep this army as a garrison, like I said. Uh, we also have the Ladans already being aggressive against the Byzantines. I love to see that. Byzantines, of course, because it's the AI doing it, didn't in turn one take on Constantinople like you can, because you have an army here in Nicaea. Uh, it's a little hint for you. You just then go straight and you take Constantinople. You just do a uh, naval assault. Don't attack the walls, just naval assault it. And then you take it in turn one, and that basically cripples and screws the Latins over in turn one. But uh, yeah, that's not happened. So it looks like the Byzantines might be on the uh, back foot here. I could maybe join the war, maybe go for cheat, uh, sneak roads, you know, be like the island hopping nation we are. Not that great of a garrison. Definitely could be done. Uh, so yeah, we could maybe send... Uh, what's his name again? Jacopo. Jacopo. Go and do that. We would have to build some of these not-so-great units. 
I mean, the crossbows are okay, There's, uh, but nothing else really is exciting. What can we get in mercenaries? Ah, we could get a free company of arms. Might get that actually straight in my basket. That's going to do a lot of damage to the economy, but another cav unit. It's a good cav unit as well. And you know, Venice, you know, they're kind of known for their mercenary armies, I feel like a bit. You know, they're too busy making money. They can just spend money on hiring mercenaries. That's kind of was the Italian way anyway with most of the Italian states. They all were merchant nations. They all just built their own, uh, well, they just bought their own armies. Or Genoa, who sold their uh, I propose or rather men ask for mercenaries. a treaty to combine our forces. Yeah, I'm sure. Non aggression with silence. I mean, it does really nothing for me. I don't really want more than that with them. I feel like they could be going to war with the Turks or with the uh, Ayyubids at some point. So I don't want to have like a, an, a, an agreement like a defensive alliance or something. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah, the Holy Roman Empire. Wow. What? They did it so quickly. Did they just concede. So the Holy Roman, Emperor, Holy Roman Empire is now the Kingdom of Sicily. In the that name is of a the development. State, welcome. Um, Speak at so yeah, the County of Brunswick, which was the old Holy Roman Empire, is now, well, just the County of Brunswick. The Emperor is now down here. That is crazy. Okay, that's a very, very interesting start to this game. Um, Pietro also just realized it's no known as the old, and he is actually quite old. 67, this guy is ancient. Uh, strength ranking of 17. We are definitely an Imperium being significant. We're very trustworthy, though. All he said fast. Um, so, yeah. So, that is a development that is for sure. Uh, do we go for Zagreb? They aren't looking like they're building troops here. The Crusaders of the Eternal City. And we can't... Oh, we can only have one agent anyway. So, we sent him off. Venice would actually still rebel. That is hilarious. Um, do we in turn one go for it? I think we do. Or do we scout it out? At your command. I'll be Advance. aggressive. I'll be aggressive. Right. We can now see what they have. It's nothing exciting apart from that unit. That's of a heavy cav unit. But yeah, the Javis and the Archers easily dealable with. So it would be 10 and... Uh, nine, 19 against my 18. Commander. Those are odds I could take. Ah, Hungary would join. Ah, because they're a vassal. Ah. Interesting. Alright. I didn't see that. We'll go back. We'll sneak. We'll run away. Run away. Venice is going to like go down one happiness today. But that's fine. Um, okay. I did not realize that. Ah, that'll be why then they probably can't afford a lot. Uh, we might wait a little bit longer to see the development of uh, what goes on. Uh, but yeah, the Latins got on a two-front war already with Bulgaria and Nicaea. That's not looking good. What the Seljuks want trade? I will be a patient. I'm always down for trade. It doesn't matter on religion. Sure uh, but no, you apparently don't. That's very rude. Uh, Ayubids, are we trading? We are. Welcome of course, we're trading. We trade well, with anyone. Uh, and a non-aggression pact. Well, that didn't happen. So. If we end up crusading I against you, so. you only have yourself to blame. Uh, but yeah, let's get Armando over here. I just want to try and convert Candia. Because, well, we're not doing much else uh, in this province. And now we'll end the turn. I hope you guys, anyway, are having a good day. Uh, I hope you're enjoying your weekends. And, I don't know, maybe you've got some exciting plans. Maybe you're going to go see some friends. I don't know, but I hope you all have a great time doing whatever you're doing. I'm slowly dying of this cold still. I don't know how. It's actually, like, looking out my window right now, it's like sun shining. It's a lovely day in, uh, in the UK. But, hey, still managed to somehow get a cold. Oh my gosh, you're going to tell me that? Yeah, he has, hasn't he? Uh, well, I'm going to make Mariano, I think, a general uh, of my other army. But yeah, Pietro is already dead. No, look at this. Pietro, the old, has died. And now we have... Uh, Jacopo as our faction leader, who's actually down here. The Doge, he's the new Doge. I like how it's not electoral, it's just like, it's still... Um, yeah, it's still sort of... Uh, just hereditary, that's the word I'm looking for. Why did I struggle? Who's got wavering loyalty? I swear someone had wavering loyalty. Lives of this guy, Marco. Is it Marco that was the one that... Yeah. 
let's just use our ability to just secure his loyalty a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, right. Armando's on his way down. Oh, do we have just a load of traits to hand out? Because just... He's done nothing. He's just actually become the Doge. He's now just better. Okay. I actually don't uh, have a governed province, so let's not do that. And then let's also put in... Cunning. It brings down maintenance, so let's do that. It also opens up a whole load of stuff for other areas over here, which are kind of handy. Right, we have five grand in the bank. We do have a lot of cash. We uh, still can't hire any of those decent units. Do we just go for Bologna instead? Would be a big risk. We'd probably need two armies. Yeah, this is a stacked garrison, actually. I mean, it's probably the same as ours. Actually, no. Ours is a lot, a lot smaller. Jeez. Um, I don't know. I don't know. These are this is Hungary's territories right here. I can already sense it. So, I, and I think they can just e equally come and swoop in and just take out my army if they wanted to. If I besiege Zagreb, we could go all the way down for split. I guess Blitz garrison equally is nothing fancy. I think we do that. I think we just go down for split. Get Zagreb. Then it means at least Hungary's going to be a bit more delayed in arriving. I imagine. I hope we might also have their own issues already. I don't know. Uh, who are these guys? Oh, Mecca. You're already... Oh, no. They're your ally. Uh, Pisa. Do we want anything your else? Your people's reputation goes before you. Nope. Uh, yeah. I don't know if there's anything else we can get. I like how it doesn't... Uh, it's it's a bit annoying that they haven't changed their name. Kingdom of Sicily. But then you hover over their territory. Oh, no. Holy Roman Empire. Uh, like, come on. I mean, it's, the name changes as well up there. Come on. Just change it there. Asian diplomacy. You can do it. You can do a game. Uh, it doesn't look like they're any closer to taking Smyrna. Or do they break the siege? Nine more turns. Jeez. Okay, well, next turn we will declare war on Croatia. Oh, yeah. They're also being besieged in the north of the Latins by Bulgaria. That is not so great for the Latins. I'd quite like to keep them alive because they do provide a decent amount of trade. But if I have to, I will go over there and retake Constantinople myself and keep it. Can't have these puppet states failing on me. Uh, Verona won a non-aggression. I mean, I'll just give you that, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm down for not fighting you now, Verona. But at some point, we will have to. When I unite Italy. Ready for battle. Oh, someone's ready for battle, apparently. Pisa's gone to war with the Hasfids. Not really my issue. We hunger for but here we go, yeah. We're going to go in on them this time. Unreliable. Oh, oh they did join. No it didn't really matter. Uh, but there you go. We will besiege. We'll build some siege towers. Uh, we won't build so many. Let's build that and then... A... Yeah, that's good. None will and, yeah, he might sell out. He might not. We'll see. Oh, he's got a lot more cav now, which is annoying. Where did you get all that? Okay, his garrison's not got any, though. Uh, we have more cav here as well. I think I might take the free company cav. It's going to bankrupt us a little bit. But it's building up our army very nicely. And uh, like I said, we're just an army of mercenaries anyway. It doesn't really matter. Venice is still going minus one, but it is growing nicely. Uh, it's going to take a little while, though, until we get any more growth going. Uh, I don't think Hungary should be a problem yet. I can see if we can piece them out. Welcome, but it's... No. I don't really want to fight Hungary, though. I don't want to have to expand up there. If I have to, I'll just build some puppet states or whatever. Uh, but we'll end the turn uh, once Marcos does some stuff. Cutting and then tax rate. I think, what is that? Wealth from agriculture. Yeah, don't want that. And then you have personal influence, so we'll just go that and then tax rate. There we go. So we're making it a bit more money. We're now back up to 1,100. Tax rate's going to be obviously important. Oh, yes, Armando, keep on moving. Got to get over here and start converting these dirty orthodox people. And we are playing on hard difficulty as well, so it's a little tougher. It's not, like, insane. I'm not, like, here to try and, I don't know, beat a total, uh, like, 12-12 on Legendary. It's not my vibe. I don't, I probably could do it. It's just a lot more frustrating. And that's just going to make for a very, very long campaign. And I don't want to do a 50-part campaign. It's like, our channel mainly about battles. We do. I do, do enjoy doing the odd campaign, but we're not here like a, a let's like a long let's play. It's going to last for well forever. Um. Anyway, let's get Armando onto here, onto Candia. 
I can assist start to inspire you the population. Uh, look at this, the Fifth Crusade, the Council of the uh, Lateran have been called. Oh my gosh, we have a famine. Why do we have famine? Oh, it's because it's winter. Oh, uh, it's because it's summer, sorry. Famine, maybe. Replenishment, all regions. Oh dear. Right, uh, that's probably affecting the economy as well. Oh, he's gone by ship. Oh, is he going to try and make a dash for Venice? He can't make it this turn. But he could make it in two turns, uh, which is a little scary. Is a little scary. Right. Uh, I think we just leave it how it is. I don't think we do anything else. 11 turns till we break that siege. Wow. Uh, we also cannot see the Serbs, though I can see that their settlement is literally here. Um, I would quite like to try and do some trade with them, but I don't think we will. But yeah, we'll end the turn. I, I shouldn't really be attacking Croatia, to be honest, now I think about it, because Croatia's a fellow Catholic. I should be killing off those damn Orthodox people. Or going to war in the Holy Land, like everyone else will definitely do. It's one of the things I hope they're going to fix in 1212. It's actually people going off on Crusade. Like, the Crusade gets called. No one goes. It's not like in Medieval 2 where everyone will literally, like, give up any other war that they're doing. Go on Crusade. And then you get some really weird combination of armies in, like, the Middle East at then. But yeah, I don't think I've ever seen an army ever go on campaign. It was still famine in. Still getting famine. Oh, we've had a royal birth. Or a noble birth. Excellent. Marcella. You will be married off at some point to, I don't know, someone or, someone or other. Uh, I don't really want to give any of my, uh, anyone outside my family an office. Uh, I mean, we could adopt someone. It's always a possible. Might have to do that, actually. How old is this guy? 28? No, I'd be all right. Again, oh, he's come, he's just baffing about. I don't know what this guy's doing. Um, but yeah, we could be here a little while, actually, trying to just siege out this guy. Uh, we aren't taking attrition from famine or from the siege, so that's good. We are also at plus one now in Venice. Uh, and I don't know why. Maybe religious differences, I think, because we're slowly pushing out Judaism. Catholic heresy is becoming a thing. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. That must be the reason why. Okay. Um... And then, oh, the candy is obviously in a good spot. I don't think we, we can take you out, can we? Yeah, minus five. Get to it, man. Uh, we'll have to keep Armando here for a long time then. Uh, we are getting growth, though, so I think I'm going to put in something for a church. I would love to put something in to help with wheat fields, uh, to, like, boost this, but I don't think we can afford to. Um, or we could do this next, uh, like the wheat farm. Expand that to give us a bit more food, so we're not in a damn famine. That's still a long time to be in a famine. I think it is just because of the, uh, the season. Um, I think, like, while we're in spring, we were fine. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure. The Latins are still sieging down their settlement. I have a feeling the AI just sieges them down to, like, nothing. And I'm guessing... Croatia must think he's not strong enough to attack me, like sally out, because usually the AI sallies out after a little while. Yep, famine, what? Funny enough, we still have it. Mercenary demand, uh, recruitment cost, well I'm not buying anymore so it's fine. And then Armando's upgraded himself already. Look at this guy. Um, right, we want to do religious influence straight away, and then inspire population. Straight away as well. Look at that. Up to 12. We're looking much better. Uh, and they, Catholic Christianity is also on the up. Well, uh, Orthodox Christianity. I, I don't know if we have to get it to like 100% or something Catholic Christianity. Um, I don't know if we can. Before it, so just to stop Orthodox resurge, like having a resurgence. We're also just making money. I'm just not doing anything with it. I literally have no buildings I can upgrade. And my army's pretty good neck. Uh, I would like to get some more Maybe Cav, if they ever make an appearance. Maybe we should have gone for Zagreb. Um, the siege would have been a lot shorter. Nine turns remaining. Well, we'll see what else we can do. Diplomacy, would Hungary want a peace deal? Welcome, Just, uh, but expect nope, I didn't think so. Uh, right, let's see. I think there's anyone else new we can see. I don't think we've treated with everyone what we want to. 
We'll end the turn again. We are kind of flying through these turns. I have these 12-12 campaign uh, campaigns. I feel like we always do. Like we get to like close to 14th, 1400 sometimes. We have big aims. Big aims for our Republic of Venice. And so I've already seen as it's like as we are like waiting on the end turn like you see at the end like a couple new factions just appear There's already a few It's a never a good sign. There you go. Yep. The sh something Shardom must must forage Shardom. There we go It's all kicking off now. Epirus has gone to war with Croatia ah. Well, that's handy though. I don't know what you're gonna do. Uh, we've got a new Pope Honorus the third He's gonna have to deal with the rest of the. Oh, and Galonia has gone to war with uh, Croatia as well. Oh dear, it's just not their day. Uh, make them, yeah, Candia the majority faith. Make it uh, Catholic. I'm doing that already. That is not good. Uh, Bologna, would you want to trade now? Welcome, worthy guest. You would. I trust mm. you bring. Yeah, I would. I would not possibly take that. Um, yeah, Today's sure. Let's do it. To you. I feel like a little bit of cash. Speak. Extra cash. Screw you, Bologna. Or, as the Americans would say, baloney. But yeah, okay then. If you don't want trade, I'm coming for you first out of any of the Italian states. Um, but I don't know how long our war in the East could last. <laughs> we, if Hungary refuses to surrender, um, we could be here for a little while. Um, but yeah, we will... Uh, the Wrath of Heaven. What a name. If you've got any... Uh, the Crusaders of the Eternal City is so much a better name. If you have any name recommendations, by the way, for the armies, I'm more than happy to listen to them. Our... Integrity is also not looking good, and it's minus four per turn. Jeez. Um, why is his? Uh, he has no real ability to help him with integrity, and there's none that will immediately help either. As uh, one over here, but that won't be enough to stop it. Okay, we actually might have to break the siege because of our integrity. Uh, integrity. I've never. It's never an issue I've really ever had when playing Attila campaigns at any sort. Um, it's one of the things I usually am on top of. But yeah, um, so I have a feeling that when you have low integrity, the army does start to um, sort of like just disband itself. Like you, uh, like units start to take attrition through desertion. Oh, this is not really what I wanted. I'm going to say no. I'm sorry, dude. I did say earlier in this episode, I'm not making a defensive alliance with you guys. A, because you're too far away. I can't help you. I mean, you're not really. I could support you from Crete, but Crete can't support itself. Um, the Holy but there you go, yeah. Preach peace, but we when have the cut scene again. Itself that is threatened, then it is every Christian's duty to defend all that is holy. His Holiness the Pope has called a crusade to reclaim the Holy Lands from the infidel, who would deny Christian pilgrims their right to visit the holy places. It is time for the armies of Christendom to put aside their differences and unite under one banner, the sign of the cross, and give back God's children what is rightfully theirs, or die trying. There you go. Call for the, first cru uh, for the fifth crusade. We're going to Cairo, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to Cairo. Um, not yet, because we're, um, we're actually doing the... Croatians. We'll, we'll come over and help at Cairo later, but yeah, I actually do feel like going on crusade this time. I feel like I would not want to do it. Um, and yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll give it to the Kingdom of Jerusalem. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. That'll be interesting. Uh, but yeah, Crete has expanded, and I want to put in a church so I can just help with uh, converting this damn place. It's going to hurt the economy, um, but so what we have to deal with. Uh, city charters, we've done it, excellent. So that also helps with growth. Uh, we are now gonna go to windmill because uh, we need to build up our own windmill so we can actually, you know, not starve. Uh, Armando, again, is, you know, he's just doing great things over here. Uh, let's spread religion again over here. Look at this, another four religious influence. Great stuff, that's gonna help Candia as well. Already at 28%, you know, we'll be there at the majority in no time at all. I think we have like 10 turns. It could be a little bit of a race. Uh, yeah, integrity's still not looking great. Uh, but it's now seven turns till we take it. Uh, if there's no, like, repercussions, I will just sit here. If there's no... I can't really remember, but I'm pretty sure. Let's see. At the current rate, there will be a mutiny in six turns. You're kidding me. 
You're kidding me. Um, okay, so yeah, mutiny. They might then just... The whole army might mutiny. Hmm. If that's the case... If that's the case, do we bait them out? See if we can get them to come to Zagreb. Uh, I'll see if this guy upgrades. If he upgrades, then... Oh, if we put it on Sudden Crusade... Oh, then we declare war. Ah. It's a shame. Yeah. I mean, I think then we take no upkeep costs. I don't know. I feel like that should be a thing. Like, if you're on Crusade, like, the Pope pays for your army. Or, basically. Um, yeah, it would be great. So, yeah, food. Ah, uh, we need to sort our famine out. That's what the issue is. I don't know how it's got so high. Uh, it's because, um... We built that metropolis, isn't it? Or not the, the castle. We built the castle and that's actually done a lot of... Yeah, we shouldn't have built that really. That was silly of me. That was very silly. We'll see whether someone else joins the crusade. I'm... I'll have a look. I'm going to have a look at the Ayubid diplomacy at the end of this turn. See if anyone's actually get bothered to join the crusade. I bet you. Why... I bet like, no one has joined. I will be the only one that will join. Maybe Jerusalem. Technically won't go on Crusade. They'll just get attacked. Maybe Antioch as well. Antioch often do quite well against uh, the Ayubids. Faction excommunicated. The Kingdom of Sicily, which isn't really the Kingdom of Sicily. It's actually the Holy Roman Empire. But yeah, oh, okay. A bunch of people have declared war on them. Brunswick, yeah, you won't be going there. Hungary as well. Jerusalem declared war on them. Uh, the Roman Empire declared war on Upstal Boom. Um, presume that's because they rebelled or something. I don't know. And then France also declared war on the Ubits. Okay, so we don't need to look at diplomacy. A whole bunch of people just did it. Um, will any of them actually send armies over there? Unlikely, because I think the AI just goes, well, if it's not near me, it's not my problem. Uh, Venice. Oh, I would love to put this in, but... Uh, well, actually, it does do do anything damage a state religion. I guess that's the only problem. It's actually doing damage to. You. That's why Catholic heresies are going up. Um. Okay. Well, I won't put it in just yet. Then. Oh, this is annoying. Is annoying. Literally, gonna be one turn in it. I think we break the siege. Settlement. What do we assault? Do we assault? Okay, so I, uh, yeah, I just had to go and take a phone call quickly. Um, but, uh, yeah, I guess thinking we're going to pull back. I don't think we can persist with the siege. I possibly could assault. Um, but I don't trust in the ability of my swords, to be honest. Uh, I have a decent amount of range. Uh, they also have pole arms, which they probably would misuse. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We could maybe assault. Maybe we'll assault, you know what? We've got a couple of light siege towers of light ram. Yeah, I'll give it a go. We'll go for an assault. We're gonna we're gonna fight this well, it's on the battlefield, but I don't feel like we're actually going to the siege lines. We're gonna do it because it's either this or we have a mutiny or we have to retreat. So it's neither a do or die, I feel like, situation for us. Um I'm gonna just hope that the AI is pretty dumb and using his cav and uh its spears and things like that, and we'll see how this goes. I'm Hoping as well, light siege towers are going to hold on. I'd have liked to have, uh, I don't know, maybe had a, uh, an artillery piece actually would be quite nice to make a breach. Um, we're going to have to probably attack around a like around a um, a gate to enable the rams to be used, and then it, once we can take the the gate, then we'll uh, we'll just stream through there because I have a feeling that the light siege towers are probably going to not last long with those machine gun artillery. Machine gun artillery? Machine gun um, archer towers is what I meant to say. Uh, these guys, those uh, guys are absolutely nasty. Uh, but I imagine looking at these spears and stuff, they're not that great. I know mine aren't that great either, though. But we have more spears and swords. Um, oh, we have more swords than they have swords. It's probably what I should have said, actually. Um, crossbows. Yeah, I think we're better off again i'm not sure we'll have to try and like focus down them the crossbows can now arc as well which is so useful um so actually gonna be a, 
of purpose. All right, dry, that's fine. Um, oh, and because, I guess because the siege has been going on, this is a massive breach in it. Okay, we're just going straight on in. Uh, screw the, the plan. Is almost a ruin. We don't need these towers. We're going straight through that breach. Um, yeah, it's okay. We are in great shape. I think this is the best spot to go in. Yeah. There's a lot of damaged parts of the wall, but that's an open breach. Okay, yeah, we'll do this then. I don't usually, uh, for those of you who watch my last place, you, you probably realize, like, Pope does never, never, um, oh, actually, shall we? I never assault. I find it way, like, myself, it, uh, the siege is usually very time-consuming, I just find, and, uh, I often find it just costly. I feel like order resolve usually, certainly in Rome 2, you can just do so much better out of it. Um, I think... We're going to send the spears in first, which you're probably thinking, why, Pope? It's because they have Cav. They have Cav still in there. So if they charge my spears, at least they will suffer. We'll have the crossbows behind to support the uh, spear assault. And they can also just clear out any uh, archers. We will put our own Cav on the flanks, I think. Uh, maybe we could try and rush them in first. My general will be sitting back for now. And then we'll have our elite spear that we'll keep in reserve. Because um, we'll just we'll put them on a flank. Right. We'll go with this. And let's get into that breach point. Yeah, they're going to probably defend it. I think the uh, the plan will be to just try and smash our way through this breach point. If, he sally, if they sally out, we'll get them. I actually think I'll put my spear out on this flank. Because yeah, that's actually a better idea. Because then if uh, they do sally out, which that cab might, by the looks of it, it might sally out. We uh, have a better chance. Also, I think their settlement being on fire so much doing a lot of damage to their morale. Yeah, minus eight morale. That is huge. Uh, not a fan of my cab just getting shot for free, though. So just pull back a little bit, folks. Uh, archers. Yeah, I'm not too worried about them. Shoot from there? No, we can't. All right, are they actually giving up the breach? Are you joking me? Okay, I think the AI is plain dumb. Oh, no, Pete. They disappear, but they actually also are still giving up for each point. Okay. Uh, Mercery Bohemian Spears are running for their lives. Communal Spears. Yeah, I definitely still I can charge my cab, I don't think. I won't want to risk it anyway. Uh, and now the AI's realized at the last minute what it's done. What a dumb dumb it's been. Right, my uh, archers. Are shooting their archers, I think, is probably the best move. Right, get in there, just get stuck in, lads. Uh, actually. Uh, get in there. Get stuck in, lads. Uh, let's also not have things on fire at will. I totally forgot about that. Ow. We're getting shot a lot. Uh, are we killing them? Not really, actually. Loose formation as well. Oh my gosh. I am rusty at this game. Uh, right. Loose formation. And then... I don't know. We Actually, I think we're better off shooting the cav. I think we come over here and just... Ignore the archers. Just shoot the cav. Um, spears come this way, maybe? Uh, let's just send another spear in there. Uh, let's get my other cav unit here, my uh, mercenary one. We'll send this guy in and we'll see if we can get him round the back, cause some chaos. Uh, let's put my spear out here. And then we'll see what we can do. I, yeah, I do not want to actually engage that. Uh, and cav is just getting shot for free here. Uh, spear, full back. This is why I hate um, sieges, because I like shot that arch, pe uh, the arch unit so much, and it's just, yeah, nothing. Nothing. Uh, right, get my cav in. Go that way. Uh, let's just yeah, the AI's going to be dumb. That's fine. AI be dumb. Shoot into all of that damn mess. Uh, just get over here. Don't want my, I don't really ideally want to lose crossbows. And uh, then let's keep the cavalry moving. Crossbows, where the heck are you going? There is a general over here. Ban of... Oh, he's the ban of Croatia. He's not banned by Croatia. He's just is the ban of Croatia. All right, let's send our cav off. Uh, let's actually try and get my cav in. Let's try and be actually productive with it. Um, let's try and do some stuff. We'll also get the elite spear, I think, in as well, just to try and support. I'd like to keep... My swords are, are obviously going to be useful. Just I don't think... Yet... I mean, I guess most of the cab is tied down here. That is true. Oh, there's a barricade there. That stops that general. Ah. We'll just push on here, then. 
Push, push, push. Okay, now the saws, I think, are, are useful because we can then push in with them. All right, keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, cabs over here. Let's charge those crossbows. Right. And then just start shooting into that mess. Kill what you can. Right, charge in. We'll have one of the cab, I think, go this way. Another one go over here. I don't really want to capture stuff, though. Can you, can you hurry up? Why are you running? Or why aren't you running, I should say? You could literally get this crossbow unit for free. It's some good militia. Well, it's not good. It's militia crossbow. But, you know, it's a good kill. Uh, swords come in. Spears come in. The enemy city oh, nice. We're burning more of the city. Excellent. Uh, right, the spears are engaged, and now we can get the cav in behind, and we can just go and get those archers that have been pestering me on the damn wall. Okay, that doesn't work either. You go in there and kill those crossbows instead, because apparently you decided just to stop charging at the last moment. Three company men at arms. Uh, I'm not so worried if I lose that unit, because it is a mercenary unit at the end of the day. Let's see what happens here. Yes, there we go. Easy kills, easy kills. Cavs. Sort of got in, but it sort of has him. Yeah, that was a bit messy, actually. Right, you're engaged. Uh, maybe re recharge. A recharge might be needed. Uh, just keep shooting the cav. Cav is the stuff to kill. Right, uh, we'd rather that one. Excellent. Keep coming. Let's go again. Let's go down the back. And then we'll just try and mop these guys up. Spears hold. Swords keep coming. No, 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 no. Swords and spears. Uh, let's send in the rest of our swords as well. Enemy units have returned to the battle. Oh, they actually got a cab over here as well. Familiaris. Okay, that might actually be a problem. Uh, my cab. Oh, he's engaged with pole arms. Let's get it out of there. I didn't realize they had those. Just waiting there. But we did get that crossbow. That's nice. But we have, of course, a whole bit of a hornet's nest here. Uh, with units right cav uh, let's try and get into that unit uh, we could send some of our crossbows over here actually try and support this engagement because uh, I think we're going to need it sword down here and then also we'll start to destroy that cav get out of there please I did say right I think we're just going to pull back this cav I'm being a bit too aggressive here. Look at that. Already starting to die. Not this cavalry. This is my uh, actual Venetian cav. I want to keep this. All right. Keep going. Pull back. Pull back. Pull back. Their general is dead. Their general is dead. That's nice. That's nice. That's really going to help. Cav, I actually did a retreat so long ago. What the heck happened? Okay. They're just going to get themselves killed. Brilliant. My cav is kind of wasted. Uh, not ideal because uh, I can't easily replace it at the moment. I get the rest of the swords in. Uh, get this sword in. Oh, we're breaking that choke point though nicely. That is... That's a win. Route this cav. Route the cav. Yeah, keep going this way, lads. Keep going that way. Biz are kind of suffering. Cav, you're back. Nice. Rallying. They're not done yet. Excellent. That's what I want to hear. My general, bring him up. Keep rallying the boys. Do what we need to do. Right. We'll just keep the cav back here. So one of the swords is going to capture this. Uh, let's just try and sneak around the back. There we go. We'll try that. I don't think though if that will work. Uh, crossbows. Let's just try and shoot the uh, the javies here. They just keep screwing us over. Oh, uh, generals returned. Not perfect timing for that. Let's just send the swords into the choke point, or just try and engage those bad boys. Stabilize that line. Uh, what's this general doing? Is he blocked in here by barricades? No, not quite, but he's getting in there. 
My general is being attacked. Sweet. Keep okay, we dealt with the uh, unit outside. Oh, we do have war cry. Ah, that actually could have been useful earlier when they all started to route uh, all these units to start to waver. They are still sort of wavering, so we could do... And this unit's... Oh, I shouldn't have pulled. Well, I don't know if I pulled through, but I don't know. To admit defeat. Yeah. Unit has Maybe rallied. I did. Maybe I did a little bit. Uh, anyway, war cry on these guys quickly. There we go. That's really going to help. Go and just kill this archer for me quickly. Uh, Cav. I could have done this a little bit better, I think. It's, it's always messy. I always hate siege battles. They just get messy so quickly. And they're so costly. Tune to the back of that mercenary bohemian for me. Kill these guys. Kill these damn guys. All right, we're holding them here nicely. What are you shooting me with? Crossbows. Okay, uh, Cav doing okay. Let's get this sword up here. Let's be productive with it. Right. General, pull you back. No need to just get right in their faces. I swear to God. Guys, if you, we all start to break now, oh, that's our forces have found their courage. Like not now, not fight. now of all times. All right, we're capturing this gate. I guess that's something. Okay, cool. We're killing off stuff here. We're gonna have to kill this whole arm. Uh, I think we've kind of basically won that first choke point at a, a great cost, but I think it has been done. Just kill that spear for me, please. Ready for order. Right. I think I'm going to lose my... I generally thought I was about to lose my elite spear. I might still lose it, to be honest. I don't know. Kill the, kill the pole arms. Yeah, kill the pole arms. Okay, finally we took this, uh, this uh, area here. Great. Okay, and we also destroyed that tower. Just something else. Um, right, bring the cav back around this way. We'll go... Into the, in for the general, and we'll have support from the swords. For that, uh, let's just bring in our general, just for morale sakes. Let's tune down that dam. Have we destroyed the barricade? No, 63%. Still needs a little bit more. Still needs a little bit more. Still a few reserves back here as well for Croatia. Which is there you go, my elite spear broke. Oh, come on. Warcry breaks that corner. Like, one communal light spear and he's holding on. That's crazy. Right, just, just make sure these guys stay broken. Um, okay, Cav over here just charges spear. It's a light spear. We should just smash it. it. Says, I think most of the Cav missed the charge. Yeah, we actually are still screwing that unit over. That's nice. That's nice. Enemy units have returned to the battle. Okay, do we destroy the barricade? We have, okay. Uh, no, come this way. Just mop these guys up quickly. Archers, are, like the crossbows have been OP in this, I think for me. They've done, ev they've done everything, they've been the MVPs. They've got so many mercenaries. Oh crap, that's, that's a dead sword. Actually, not if we engage, not if we engage. I think we might be okay. The spears took most of the charge. Okay, great. Get in here. Cav, get into the back. Try and get a charge off. General, come round. Come round. You can do it. Here we go. The cav's going to charge. Get the ban of Croatia. The victory point I think will this. soon be under our control. There you go. That's a great charge. When the general is in charge, Simon, what a fool, not charging me. Uh, swords get in there, mix it up. Infantry support will greatly help. Everyone kill that sword. And you can just shoot the crossbows. Okay, apparently you're just engaging those guys. Not ideal. Please don't do that. Oh, it's just the barricade there. Why did they put a barricade there? Of all places. 
uh, Cav? Cav? General, what the hell are you doing, man? So many men there. Love it when the AI listens to me. Go in there, please. Uh, just to destroy that. I'm not really not that bothered. Uh, crossbows, you can hold fire. Also come out loose formation. We'll just set up here. There you go. GG. Oh, no. We have not routed the... We have not routed Simon. I thought we had. Simon's not dead. I presume his name's really Simon, but... It's funnier to say Simon. Uh, let's try and just negotiate our way around these. Uh, there we go. I think Simon might be gone now. I think that is game. But what a costly battle. That's why I don't like doing siege battles. But we have a close victory. A victory for Venice. And to be honest, we have to fight our first battle in the campaign. It's a must. Uh, a must-do tradition. And Mari, uh, Marino here has uh, won it for the Republic of Venice. So well done to him. Big clap on the back for him. And uh, yeah, I think... Once we've loaded back in, that's probably where I'm going to wrap up today's episode because uh, we have done like best part of an hour now. And uh, and to be honest, that siege battle took it out of me a little bit. Uh, 227 kills for a spear unit there, 108, 124 kills with these uh, crossbows. Some decent calves did well, 215. My actual calves are dead. Oh, it's annoying. We're going to have to get mercenaries, aren't we? Which, to be honest, at the same price. Um, it's, it's not really the end of the world. I think it's just maybe a bit more expensive. Um, but that could be an issue for us in Venice. Might be what we have to build straight away is the stables. It's Venice. But uh, yeah, there you go. I don't know if this is gonna. Yeah, we kept one of our cavs, thank lord. Uh, let's occupy. Commander. And does that actually do more damage to our food? For now. Um, library. I do not want a library. Bring that down. Uh, we will keep the Catholic Church. Vineyard will keep. Trading docks will keep. And then a walled city. Uh, I don't really want that either. Um, we'll repair it for now so we get the benefits. But I do want to get rid of that. Uh, and here we go, commander. And then you're going to go straight down to authority. That helps with morale, public order. Let's go straight down for zeal. So then we can get you down towards that one. But there you go. We're taking split. So uh, that is now ours. I don't know whether uh, we could now get peace with Croatia. In the name of the state oh, yeah. They, we could, so actually. Forth. I think I might take now, peace with them. I only really wanted want? their coastline. Um, but I might just take... Oh, we, wow. We could really break the bank with these guys. On peace. Uh, not that much, but apparently that much. There we go. I, I'll take peace with you guys. Speak quickly. We're still at war with Hungary, but that's fine. Croatia's, yeah, at war with a lot of people, actually. I maybe shouldn't have made peace with them, but hey. Um, we now could fact build. No, we'd have to rebuild still. Okay. Very well. Uh, but yeah, we have our we have the coastline now. Our army's in a pretty bad state. It would need a little bit of work uh, being done to it. We're going to need some more cav, uh, most importantly. But yes, I hope you guys have enjoyed this first part of the campaign. If you did, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show support. We are continuing our sort of like uh, campaign. I'll, it'll be semi-regular. It'll be one episode out every couple of days. Uh, well, I'll, at least I'll try and keep it to that. I know sometimes um, uh, like life gets in the way and just, you, know, you forget to do like an episode or something like that. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll try and uh, make keep it a regular series. We've actually gone down in strength ranking. Jeez, that's not good at all. But yes, until next time, guys, I will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.